Well, in a humiliating turn of events, the government has been forced to accept the opposition's suggested legislation after the High Court released 84 criminals, including rapists, murderers and pedophiles. Joining me now is Shadow Attorney General Michaelia Cash. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for your time. How has the government got this so wrong? They were asleep at the wheel and then some. Well, Erin... When Australians needed leadership from their Prime Minister in the last two weeks, as we saw the government release detainees, 84 of them, into the community, including rapists, pedophiles, murderers and a contract killer, they didn't get the leadership from the Prime Minister of Australia. They got that leadership from Peter Dutton. This government has shown over the last two weeks that it is hopelessly out of its depth when it comes to the one responsibility that it has at a federal level, the paramount responsibility, and that is keeping Australia and Australians safe. And their actions over the last two weeks have been absolutely shameful and, quite frankly, show that they are unfit to govern this country. You are a lawyer. I, I mean, there were so many signs leading up to this. There were reports, there were transcripts, there were words that would have any, even the most simple of people, understand that this was a likely outcome. Why was nothing done in advance? And, and that's exactly right. You know, the government likes to think the High Court decision was brought down and, oh, my goodness, it's the first time that they had heard about it. But as we know, that is just not true. In June of this year... High Court Justice Gleeson, she gave comments which was a clear indication of where the High Court was likely to go on this. Uh, it, it beggars belief that the Government of Australia, knowing that this is one of the options that the High Court could undertake, does not have a policy response available. But as you said, Erin, not a lot surprises you in politics. Not a lot surprises me, but I have to say, wow. I think what worries me even more about this, Senator, is you look at the state of the world at the moment, you look at war in the Middle East, you look at war in Europe, you look at China, you look at North Korea, you look at Iran. What else is the government completely unprepared for? And it, and it might be one policy area, Erin, but I have always believed... The Coalition believes, and I know Peter Dutton lives this every single day, the fundamental responsibility of your Commonwealth Government is to keep Australia and Australians safe. And what did we see from the Prime Minister? I mean, Peter Dutton stood in that parliament and said, you should stay here. We will offer you all the support that you need. The parliament will not rise until you deal with this issue. And what does Mr Albanese do? Fight or flight, Mr Albanese chose flight. So the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, earns nearly $600,000 a year. Peter Dutton, just a, a bit over 400000 Do you think maybe the PM should give up some of his salary, given the opposition leader has pretty much run the country this week? Well, I think what Peter Dutton has shown the Australian people this week is he has the ability to lead and he has the necessary strengths uh, that a leader requires. Peter is prepared to have the back of every single Australian. He has shown that when he was the Minister for Home Affairs, when he was the Minister for Defence. This is a man, Peter Dutton, who lives and breathes every day of his life that fundamental responsibility of a Commonwealth government to keep Australia and Australians safe.